clockwise through the mid lane. He might come in contact with Kuroki first. Let's see. Who do they spot? They'd love to find Sumail farming this large camp. Dangerous territory to be in. And a jump in from Boxy. They see Sumail. They're trying to go for Kuro. The call is on the bat. But Martin is in. Grave and Curse overlapping there to keep Mikael alive through any kind of initiation. While Dreamer Cell Yule struggling to get any real damage or control in. And now lassoed up through his BKB. GH being bursted down by Zai. And Martin can open up on him. Unleash the damage on the Dreamer Cell now. And the Chrono only on. Oh, only on Timber. That's not what you need, and Sumail can't do the damage into it. GH buys back and might control over the core of Martu, but he's so tanky. It's bare with 21 charges. Where's the save? Where's the save? They're pushing him back. Yeah, he's not there. He's done down. Zai tossed back in towards MC, but Dream of Cell with his time dilation. As a mask of madness and another time walk forward. Sumail tries to go high ground, and they see Boxy now. Martu being down means a lot of damage and liquid has been removed, and Nigma. Oh, and another one harvested. Insane, yeah, spun out by the sentry now, and in comes Nigma. A grave of the dazzle, but he's dunked as a sick stack is harvested by mind control. One of the most satisfying sounds in the game is Axe dunking someone for nature's profit, using ulti, collecting gold, anti-mage mana burn. These are my top three favorites. And uh, yeah, Liquid, they want to defend this. Roshan potentially boxing with the buyback. They blow him up. Oh, oh God. Ah. Faceless Void gets annihilated by Zyne. Not just Faceless or... Void, Axe as well. Axe gone, corrupt. I, I don't know if you noticed, there was an Axe, Gary. No, I didn't see him. Doesn't exist. Ceases to stand on this map, and Boxy jumping in deeper. They lose the chain, the toss it in. GH, he brought back the curse. It was decently placed here, but Mickey able to skirt around the edges, and then Yule's up, stops the TP. GH with cold embrace, but only delays his death. Allowing the time for Matt over and over again, looking for the initiation. They see the bat. No commitment. Interesting. Boxy, he just Boxy finds an opening. Asher is there, but the curse and the cold embrace delays the move. While Boxy getting blown up by the Illuminate. Now we go in towards Zai. Half HP has the Timber Chain low ground. Boxy dead for the lasso there. Cancelled out by the Chrono. Focus on Dreamer Cell onto the Battle Rider. Down goes Mickey. And Matu in an awful lot of trouble now. Cold embrace allows Mind Control to stay alive. While Insania does get a grave out, but it's meaningless. Enigma Galaxy. Have a triple kill on this versus Void now, and another jump in from Mind Control, beautifully placed. Dunks down Matsu, and a team wipes incoming. Zai and Boxy on the run. Dream of Cell, he's not done. Get the oh, kill. Dream of Cell with the tip. The bash is in, the tip mid fight, and another. Uh, get like Ghost Scepter on X, so you haunt, and then you go Scepter, so you can't be attacked, and you can see the power of it. Yeah, they're, they're chain stunning Matsu right now. Stop a nice winter's curse there to zone out Zai. They've got the hand of God to heal up the winter wife and GH. Is he gonna survive? Doesn't have any spells remaining, so burn in the butterfly duration while MC turning back again. Matsu E blading, so can't hit into him. Oh, nice little piggy there, mind control with another call. And Dream of Cell, he's got the two man chrono. He finds the dazzle timber saw, perfect targeting from the baseless boy. And Matsu, he can't do any damage. There are too many heals. Radiance all the grace, hand of God, mech and all that. Keeping these fights going for Nigma, and who was I to doubt the drafting of Kuroki? These long, extended team fights, perfectly executed, and incredible performance from Dreamer. This is Rampage, Gary. Give him the Rampage, will ya? Go on, Liquid, the Dazzle must fall. Zai with a flamethrower, bash down, he's got a grave on him, but Dream Cell. They're running out of time, I don't think they're getting the Rampage. He's got it, give it to him, he's found the Dazzle, the Rampage. There it is. Yeah. Double, double Rampage. One more kill, the stand in, he's not gonna get it, some mail secure. Has turned around onto the Wyvern, but nobody really there to do that much physical damage to him. That's what the E on Discord Mickey is jumping into the back, aiming for the Wyvern, and the fight split three ways again. Moving them back towards the fountain, they're trying to bring down Dreamer Cell, but another two man chrono taking down Tiny and the battle already, yes, he's great, but how long will he really survive? Dreamer Cell refreshes, goes in again, aims for Insania, finds the dazzle, and Matsu down and out. Even with that enrage up, he's gonna be dropped low, not dead just yet, and Zai, damage onto Kuro, but they've still got enough left in the tank here. 
keep on fighting. Matsu will shred the Chen, but they can't contend with mind control and dream itself. Now I'm going to have to chain away. Well, maybe, maybe Matsu can. Maybe Matsu can contend with him. He's got a solar blind on him and the blink call in again. Gets called. See, blasted down. Uh, Ebley makes short work of the teddy bear and Zai. He's bashed up mid-chain. The timber saw and the bat rider drifting around with their full stamps and timber chains. But Nigma will dunk down another. Man, I was watching Dream of Cell throughout this uh, whole fight and uh, he can do whatever the hell he wants. 21 and 15. Uh, he's all over the place. He keeps jumping.